Hi, my name's John. Welcome to a short video, what is part of a series of videos all about the Artec 261 ACDC inverter TIG welder. In this short video, I'm going to be doing some real heavy amperage welding. What I've got here is a motorcycle crankcase. It's not just an ordinary motorcycle crankcase, it's two 250cc two strokes joined together to make a four cylinder engine. So there's quite a lot of really heavy amperage welding, some preheating. I want to get some welding shots, but I want to concentrate on how I set the machine up to get the best out of it, um, what torch I use, what electric I use, and how I set the gas up. That's enough talking, let's get on. I'll show you a little bit about how the engine has been developed, how it was cut, joined together, and then we'll get on to the welding part. Before we start welding on the actual engine casings, I've got a bit of a scrap casing that he cut off here, and I'm going to show you how I set the welder up to weld this type of aluminium. It's been washed in acetone and clean with a wire brush. I can't stress enough how clean things have to be to TIG weld. The casings for the large bike engine have actually been vapor blasted, so they should be absolutely beautiful, nice and clean to weld. So that's the, the casting. I'll show you the settings I use to weld it. I'll weld a little bit on the easy set setting, and then I'll weld some more on the setting that I use, just to show you the difference. On the left shows the various types of welding. We want AC TIG, AC TIG. Straight away, it defaults on the easy set. So if we go across here, first one is tungsten size, size of 2.4. Material thickness, work thickness, put six because it is pretty thick stuff. Type of aluminium. It's either a magnesium based or a silicon based. Castings are normally silicon based. Type of joint you're going to have, you can have a corner joint, edge joint, lap joint, T joint. T joint will probably give more power, so we'll say T joint. Pulse is off for this particular job. We're using a pedal, and that's defaults to 200 amps, 9 litres a minute gas flow on the cup size 7. That looks good to me. We can, of course, go up or down 10%. We'll put it on the high setting. We we'll probably won't need all of that, but it's nice just to have it there. This is the torch setup I use for aluminium. It's a WP20 water cooled torch. I use a gas lens. That simply screws in there. And it's a number 7 cup, which goes onto there. I use the wedge type brass collets, they're much better than the copper ones, obviously Artec supply all this. Long back cap, just because that's what I've got handy. I use a gold tungsten for virtually everything in 2.4. I might need to put a bigger tungsten in for this job, I'm not quite sure, but I think that, that should probably do the job. But simply slots in there like that. Stick out about 6mm. You can have it sticking on further with the gas lens, but that should do the job quite nicely. Before I weld it, I'm going to put a little bit of preheat into it, just to get the chill of it. It does make a big difference. and also helps to burn out any residual oil or crap that may be in there. That welded quite nicely, in fact it welded very nicely indeed. Now that that's warm, I'll clean it up, take any impurities of it, and we'll run around the top of it again, but there's nothing at all the matter with that.
I'll try it on a thicker pot down here and now it's got a little bit of heat into it. I'll show you the settings that I've put in the welder now to weld castings like this. So we'll turn the easy set off. There's 20 preset programs in here that you can load up with whatever welding parameters you want, which means somebody can set the machine up and tell somebody what number to weld it on. Right, we're going to go to number two. It tells you basically what it is. Right, so we're going to have 215 amps, two, 260 amps, full amp setting. We'll probably never use all that, but we'll set it at 260. So the machine is now set. It gives 0.7 of a second pre-flow. That's gas that comes out before the arc starts. Start amps is 30 amps. I want a good, nice, clean, crisp start. I weld on square wave. That is different form, different formats, different settings. It's well worth playing with it once you get into it. Square wave. 140 hertz frequency, and I've got the balance set, it's 32%. That's the setting that works for me on castings like this. I'm now on my settings, what I've put in, and we'll do the same weld around there, and then a heavy bit on there. You should be able to hear a difference. It'll make a different noise because the frequency is different. You can see it's a tighter, cleaner weld. I'll do a heavy bit down here now. See the dirt coming out of the weld? You always get this with Aluminium castings, it can't be helped. Once you get yourself involved in somebody else's project here, it's a bit of a sort of a, a puzzle. Deb's got it, jigsaw puzzles. We've certainly got one here. What the lad's doing is he's had a few RD 250 two stroke big engines and he's going to join two together to make a straight four cylinder two stroke. He's cut all the crankcases where he wants them cutting. He's machined them. I've had them up blasted and I've had a mandrel made to line the main bearings up. So the idea is I'll do a dummy assembly and see if it's feasible for me to weld them up. Quite a fearsome affair it's going to be. One, two, three, four. I, know I had an RD200 and that was quite a fit bike. The 250s were really fit. So two of them joined together. And of course we've been a two-stroke. We've got no problem with camshafts or nothing like that. The crankshafts, multi-piece pressed together. He's doing all that. All I'm doing, supposedly, is the welding.
this is one of the protein torches out of my furnace. I want to get a, a fair amount of heat into it. Um, the more heat you put in now, the less amperage you've got to put in when you're welding it. It needs to be the sort of temperature where you can't touch it. I want to get plenty of heat into that central steel column or the central steel mandrel. Just a general warm up. It's actually welded not too bad, but even though it was vapor blasted, wire brushed, washed off, acetoned, there was still oil come out of the bastard thing. This is the top off where the cylinders go. It is welded from both sides, so tons of penetration. This is the bottom part, welded on the outside. All that was welded when it was clamped to the mandrel, and I turned it over. And welded the inside. So this was ground out right through to the hit the other weld. And it's all kind of fused together now, so hopefully. And I've left plenty of little build up for him to you just be trying to file it flat, I would imagine. I'm sure you'll agree that the 261 is more than capable of welding castings up like that. It welded it quite nicely on the easy set setting, and it welded it even better on my setting. I've spent quite a bit of time putting various settings into the welder um, to do specific jobs. It saves you having to remember what they are because you forget if you're not welding all the time. It also means somebody can come and set your welder up for you and you've got 20 settings in there for various jobs, a really handy feature. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it and I hope you managed to pick a little bit up from it. If you do decide to buy one of these welders, in fact any product from Artec, be sure to mention my name, it certainly won't do you any harm. Anyway, thanks for watching. There is more video on the actual motorbike project on my YouTube channel, I'll put a link in the description box.